Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again, and in a recent video shown right here called Tubal Cain Talks About Air Compressors, I talked about this little husky air compressor and what the condition of the tank might be and a few other things because I had also done the autopsy on the Craftsman that some of you watched and you saw how badly rusted it was. So I'm going to do an autopsy on this but without damaging it. I recently bought a special camera for just that purpose. So let's turn our attention to that uh, 38 year old tank and see how bad the rust is. Do I need to throw the whole thing away? Is it dangerous? And uh, several people responded to this video by telling me get yourself one of those little cheap cameras that you can stick inside of a hole and, uh, and let's explore that thing and, and that's what I did. So let's get started. Well here's the camera. I ordered this from uh, Amazon on Friday and it came on Sunday of all things. They said it would be three days and that was free shipping. So I was amazed at that. I didn't need it that fast but it came that fast and this was uh, 15 or 16 dollars. It's got little, that's the camera, it's got little LEDs on there to light it up. This end goes in uh, to a USB port. Now I understood that it would fit into my phone but it doesn't so I guess I have to get another adapter but so I'll have to take the compressor up to my computer upstairs uh, to, to use this and their software that came with this as well and this is a pretty neat little thing for considering how cheap it is and you know it's something like the doctor uh, uses to explore your body although it says not to be used for internal purposes on the human body well we'll see about that well here it is that little husky compressor and I told you I did much work on this since I've owned it, but not lately. Originally they had a small half horse motor, but I put that three that one horse craftsman on there and that's 220 volt. But obviously at that time I had to do some other changes and I drilled and tapped obviously other holes for the compressor to line the motor up. But since the hole in the bottom of the tank, the drain hole, is relatively small, I decided and it's it would I would have to turn the camera into a U to examine it, so I'm going to uh, have the camera enter from this side, so i got to take off this tube here, I already wiped this off a little bit, and uh, take this brass fitting out, and then hopefully the camera will go straight down in there. Now I need some way to manipulate it as well, and a couple different fittings came with that camera, a little magnet and a couple other doodads, but I thought maybe I could grip the camera with this and move it around but I certainly won't have the control that a doctor has when he sticks that up someone's uh, you know what. But then again their camera costs fifty thousand dollars and they pretty much want to recover the entire cost of the instrument with each uh, application. I don't trust those hospitals. You know what I bet I haven't uh, checked the oil and 20 years so let's do that now and on a, a little uh, hex like that I absolutely loathe 12 pointers for those of you that are critical of uh, the little crescent wrenches rounding something off might want that focus to me I, I in general I don't like 12 pointers I like six pointers but and I've already loosened that up so Let's see if there's any Earl in there at all. Oh yeah, still filled to the brim even though there's an oil film over the entire compressor. All right, I'll quit talking and take this off now. When I bought this compressor 38 years ago there was a plastic line of some kind and it would get so hot up here that it melted to some extent and it would leak. So I replaced it with copper. I mentioned that before. So cheap quality is nothing that is, is brand new. They've been doing it for a long time and I got this fitting out. Now I have a hole that is uh, generally uh, going to be large enough to put the camera in there. Now I have to find Jordan to help me get this upstairs. My wife's at Walmart so she won't know that I'm bringing this oily thing up into the computer room. 
These are the three little doodad devices that came with that camera. This being a tiny little magnet. This just being a hook. I don't know if it's to retrieve things or what. The little plastic part goes around the camera. And this one being a tiny inspection mirror, not unlike the dentist would use. Not of the highest quality, but in general, for $15 or $16, this thing was amazingly uh, uh, useful. All right, let's take a look at how I'm going to go about this. Notice that the uh, cord goes into the computer. USB port. By the way, the correct name for this is an endoscope. And here it is. Now I tried two different things here. I, this, this is one of these uh, doodads, I don't know what you call them. And I, th that worked pretty good, except I can't steer it very well because of the spring. It wants to return to the straight position, so I decided to use this thing. And you draftsmen know what this is. It's a, uh, it's used in the old pencil and board method to, to draw curves, and it s somewhat retains uh, its position. Something like clay, only a little stiffer. But I taped the endoscope to the end of that, and it seems to be a little bit steerable. Nothing like what the doctor uses, but uh, that's that's what I'm using here. Now, when I stick that in the hole. There'll be no audio, and uh, I will clip it together in, in different clips as I discover different things in there. But you're going to see loose rust pieces. You're going to see, uh, hopefully, the, the drain plug and just the condition of the tank in general. It's not easy to maintain the focal length, which uh, determines whether or not I'm in focus. Let me go to the uh, Amazon website real quick and I'll show you uh, what this looks like and how much it costs on the website for anybody that has the urge to buy one. Alright, here's the Amazon website and I was wrong. It wasn't 16 bucks, it was $18, but I have Amazon Prime which gives me free shipping. So there's what it is and it's called an endoscope that thing's waterproof, also called a handheld bore scope, snake camera with a five meter cable. So there's all different names for it. Now I understand there's probably a hundred different ones on, on eBay and on Amazon, but this is the one that I arbitrarily and capriciously chose. All right, here I go, and it barely fits into this hole. I mean barely. And now I'll be switching to various clips. And there'll be quite a, a few minutes of that, so speed through it if you don't like it. What you're looking at here is a screenshot of my monitor taken with my regular camera and that I'm holding with my left hand the uh, endoscope and moving it around just a little bit but I'm going to uh, I'm able to record the video now and save it on the files and those files are what I'm actually going to show in the video because I'm not sure how well this this will show up but you can see me moving it around a little bit in the tank and the, the focal length is six centimeters although this might not be too bad I might do this rather than save it but you can see loose because now you can hear my voice you can see loose uh, rust chips in there and there's an awful lot of loose rust as I move it around trying to maintain the uh, focus and I can steer it fairly well with this device, this blue device that I showed you, which I've had for 30 years and never used until today.
looks like the crater of the moon. Just an awful lot of corrosion and bad stuff going on in there. There's some loose stuff as I get near the end of the tank. That's all loose uh, rust flakes. I'm going to have to say I've got to condemn this tank. Now I'll be afraid to even turn it on. Look at all that, that stuff laying in there. And I removed an awful lot and it's, I'm not going to get it all out. Uh, at the moment I cannot seem to find the uh, drain plug. I'm hoping this shows up uh, well and that I, I don't have to save save the other files I just spoke of. There's six little LED lights on the end of this thing. This really is a, an amazing device, isn't it? You can inspect the inside of engines. You can see, now I'm raising it up and down and you can see the change in focal length. And this is the bottom of the tank and a little bit of the sides. I'm not able to get it into position to see if the sides of the tank are in, in good a condition as they were on that Craftsman tank. Now if you have not seen my autopsy for the Craftsman Sears, I should call it Sears tank, be sure and do so. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm going to back out and withdraw it out of the tank. And this barely fits through the hole. Pretty awesome, huh? How can they sell something like that for under $20? I know they got slave laborers. I need to change the filter on the top of this uh, compressor too. This is the little compressor that allowed me to spray paint over 10,000 of my mic micrometer teaching age. Uh, some of you people know what I'm talking about. I showed you pictures of that. All right, back to the basement. Let me summarize this just a little bit, and I hope this video didn't turn into too much of a discussion about the little camera rather than the tank. But uh, as I brought it back down the basement here, I got two different magnets here that I was uh, retrieving the rust out of there, but this one was a stronger magnet, and I don't know how many magnet folds I, I pulled out of there, and I still haven't removed all of it. And, uh, you know, it looks like this, and here's a, here's a bunch more, and th it is moist to the touch, and there's large flakes of it, too. Matter of fact, that feels wet. So even though no water came out of the tank in the previous video, there is moisture in there that is constantly eating away, and uh, here's some that I t took out two days ago that has dried off, and there's also rust on that magnet. So is this tank safe to use? Well you tell me but uh, I really well you saw the new one that I bought from Harbor Freight so uh, I might condemn this one. Now it kind of scares me after hearing some of the horror stories that other viewers have shared with me in the comments in regards to tanks blowing up. So that concludes this video on the endoscope and the inspection, uh, non-invasive. I'm not sure if this is not. I invaded it, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't destroy it like I did on the autopsy one for the Sears. So this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now, and I'll see you in my next videos.